Hey everybody, Sean Hatzel, welcome back. Lifting Your Way Lean here with part two of your second rep range lactic acid workout. So uh, we went ahead and, in the last video and introduced you to the rep range portion, lactic acid portion of shoulders. Now we want to finish off shoulders with the superset finisher. So I have my beautiful wife Karen here ready to demonstrate. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do what we call lateral raises. So you'll notice like in the rep range lactic acid section of the shoulders, we didn't show you the actual side lateral raise where you're gonna do a side lateral raise. There's a couple different ways to do this. And I wanna tell you that Karen has a little bit of a shoulder issue and I have a little bit of a shoulder issue. But what's unique is that the exercises that hurt her don't hurt me and vice versa. The exercises that hurt my shoulder don't hurt her. So it just goes to show you the variety of different shoulder injuries or shoulder limitations that each individual may have. So I caution you using any shoulder exercises, if you feel pinching or you feel any type of pain or discomfort, that's not the good pain, not the lactic acid lifting pain, make sure that you switch and use an alternative exercise. Now, as far as side lateral raises go, this is a great segue because there's a couple different ways you can do them. If we look at Karen, go ahead and do the bent arm ones first. So this is a great way for a lot of people who have shoulder limitations. She's keeping her arms at a 90 degree angle and simply lifting her elbows and tipping the weights almost like they're teapots or milk jugs that are in her hands. So it's simply out like this. And those arms always stay at that 90 degree angle the entire time. Now the other way is what I call like the bird or the eagle. So you have them down in front of you like this, honey, show them the other way. And then you bring it out more and tip them like milk jugs. Go ahead and show them. So now it's a little bit less, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult and you're not gonna be able to go as heavy as the one where your arm is bent because the range of motion is greater. Now, go ahead and stop. Now again, when you do these lateral raises like this and you're doing the eagle style and you're bringing them out and tipping them, make sure that you drag your knuckles across the floor as much as possible. You'll notice that when you do this, it takes the forearm out. Keep those knuckles slightly bent up towards the ceiling as you lift the weight. This is gonna take more of that forearm, both the bottom and the top, out of the movement and help isolate the shoulder more. Remember, it's not about how heavy we can go, it's about tension. That's what's gonna give you that fitness model look. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump in and we're gonna burn out the shoulders with superset finishers. Karen is going to, uh, the second exercise Karen's gonna do, she's gonna superset a side lateral raise with no rest for 15 reps and we're immediately gonna move into a, right? a row push, right? So go ahead and show them that one. So up, push out, and then resist. Go ahead, up, push out, resist. So that's good. So the whole key with this is gonna be your second exercise is we don't wanna do an upright row, okay? We don't wanna do that because that can definitely put some stress on the shoulder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit wider of a grip instead of in here, out here, we're gonna come up not quite as much, right to about breast level, right about nipple level, push out, and then resist. Now, when we pull, we're gonna bring in some rear delt, right? But when we push out and hold, we're working all front and middle delt. So we're literally hitting all areas of the shoulder by doing this superset. So let's dive in. Karen, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and do 15 reps of the side lateral raise. She's gonna exhale up, fight it more on the way back, honey. Good, so she's slowing down her negative on the way down more, good. Explode up, fight it down, five, Six, good work. Breathe. Exhale up, good. Keep going, good. We got 12. 14. And 15. 15. Okay, go ahead now. Zero rest, right to these upright row pushes, okay? Good, how's it feeling, good? Just in it below. Perfect, excellent. Notice that when she pushes out, she's pausing slightly to fight it, getting that negative. That's what's gonna stimulate that front delt more. So again, up, working the rear delt, pushing out, working the front. <sighs> Giving all those 50-somethings out there some inspiration. Good work. Where are you at? 10. 11, four more. Starting to burn? Yeah. Okay, this is 12. Mm -hmm. Okay, three more. Notice how she's going to make sure she gets her reps. She wasn't going to let me miss one. That's dedication. <laughs> <I might have lost laughs> Most clients are trying to avoid it. 
Good work, honey. Excellent. So now she would go ahead and be on the clock, hit her timer for 45 seconds, and repeat that cycle one more time, and then we're gonna make an effort to get at least 12 reps in the second round because we're a little bit more fatigued. So that is an introduction to your superset finisher for shoulder and ab day. Now let's move on to your ab workout.